Welcome to a new episode of Review. Today we're going to look at the Embraer ERJ190 from Finnair. And if we start taking a look at the box, we have the cutout where we can see the plane inside and of course the Finnair branding. Now if we turn the box around, on the back side we can see an nice rendition of the aircraft. It's a limited edition. We have the original dimension of the aircraft and some additional information. So let's look inside. So here she is, the ERJ190 in the current Finnair standard livery. Now if you take a closer look and turn the plane around, we can see the doors to the cargo compartment have been fitted. Another nice detail is the registration code on the underside of the wing and the wing itself. And beautiful as always are of course the winglets with the Finnair branding on them. Now if you move to the back of the aircraft we have the vertical stabilizer with the Finnair branding, we have the full registration code, the Finnish flag, the European flag and of course the aircraft type. Now if you move to the front of the aircraft we can see along the fuselage the writing of Finnair. And just above the cockpit windows we have the last two letters of the registration code. Now there is a huge problem with this aircraft. When I got it some years ago, I was really happy because it was a new aircraft type with the Embraer 190 and the Finnair colors, looks really nice. I was really happy to have it, but when I started doing research for this episode, I noticed something. Something that is missing on this aircraft. Now Finnair is a member of One World, hence we would expect the One World logo on this aircraft. Another thing is that Finnair's ERJ190 is actually operated by Fly British European or Fly BE. Therefore, the ERJ190 would have written on the fuselage operated by Fly BE. Now, those two details, the One World logo and the operated by Fly BE, are on this actual aircraft in real life, but not on this model from Harper Wings. And I'm sorry, what was Harper Wings thinking of? This aircraft is really, really nice. Don't get me wrong, I really like it. But those two details are just really important and they're missing, which is a big shame. Me personally, I would wait to buy this aircraft and see if Happy Wings aren't releasing a new version of this model where they then actually fit all the details. Now that's the episode for today. Even though it wasn't as positive as I had hoped to, I hope you still enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe if you're new around here, that would be absolutely awesome. Now don't miss out on the next episode where we're going to look at the Boeing 787, the Dreamliner, from Air India. Now thank you for watching, I'm checking out, see you soon and bye.